In this lesson, we'll continue with IELTS speaking part two, and we're going to prepare the main topic area, describe an event. Remember, what we're trying to do in this preparation for IELTS speaking part two is work on good ideas, good vocabulary for the most common topic areas, the most common tasks for this part of the test. We're not working on grammar or linking. That will not help you in speaking part two. It's all about good ideas and good vocabulary so that you respond to the task well and give a really good description. That's what will impress the examiner. This lesson is the fourth lesson in the series of lessons that we're looking at speaking part two. The six main topic areas uh, describe a person, place, object, event, activity and your favourites and this lesson as I said is about describe an event, this topic question. Let's look at this topic now. First you need to know of course what will be on the task card. If you're asked to describe an event you'll be asked to describe what, where, who and why about this event. Of course what the event was or what type of event it was, where it was, who went or who was performing or who was in the event and of course at the end a question about why. Why did you like it? Why did you enjoy the event? Why do people enjoy this event or go to this kind of event? Very simple, describing something that happens. Now let's look at some possible questions that I've seen in real exams or in the official IELTS books. Here's one describe an important event in your life. Another, describe a festival in your country, a party, a celebration. Now for all of these four possible questions we could probably prepare a description of a festival and use that for any of them. We could also prepare very common events like a wedding or birthday they can't be used to describe a festival because that's not really the same but a wedding or birthday can be used of course to describe an important event, a party or a celebration. Those, that's the first type of event that we need to prepare for, festivals and parties but also you might get a task about a sports event that you watched, that's completely different. And finally a concert or music event. And my advice as always is to prepare vocabulary themes for any event. Even though we've got a few different types of events here, festival, wedding, sports event, concert are very different, but we can use a lot of the same vocabulary to describe any of them. Let's look at some examples of good vocabulary for this topic then. The first theme that I've chosen is to say that this was a special event. Any of those events that we saw on the previous slide could have been a special event, a festival, a party, a sporting event, a musical event. They could all be special. Here's some good vocabulary around that theme. It was a memorable event, unforgettable, spectacular, fantastic, amazing, wonderful, a day to remember. It was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I had a great time. I enjoyed every minute. I was blown away, which means I was really impressed, really surprised. I couldn't have asked for more. It exceeded my expectations. These are some good words and phrases to describe almost any event that you enjoyed that you thought was special. Another theme, where the event was, of course, any event takes place in a particular place so we can definitely prepare some good vocabulary about that. The venue, even just a simple word like that most people wouldn't remember to use that kind of word in their test. The venue is the place where the event was. You can say it was a perfect or prime location. The place was beautifully decorated or the decoration or lighting was spectacular, romantic, it was a lovely setting, a fantastic atmosphere, the atmosphere was electric. 
we were impressed by, and you can talk about the people in the venue, the service, the staff, the attention to detail. Lots of good things that we can say about the place of the event. And finally, it's good to prepare some specific vocabulary for those four main types of event that we saw earlier. For example, if you're preparing wedding vocabulary, you're going to have words like the bride, the groom, that's the, um, the female and the male it, who are getting married, the guests, the ceremony, the marriage vows, those are the things that they, the, the couple has to say when they're getting married, the speech, maybe some, someone in the family made a speech at the wedding. We don't say a wedding party, we say a wedding reception after the ceremony. You could talk about the flowers, the clothing, the bride's dress, the cake, lots of specific vocabulary that we could use just for this particular event. Um, another type, the festival. You could say what the festival commemorates, that means what was the reason for the festival, but that's a good word, commemorates. Maybe the festival has some religious significance, maybe you give gifts or have special decorations, special customs, a meal, maybe it's a public holiday. Think of some specific vocabulary for the festival that you want to describe. Look it up on the internet and get more good vocabulary about the particular things that happen in that festival. If we look at the other two types of event now, the sports event, you could talk about the athletes or the players, the crowd, the spectators, the stadium, or maybe it's a sports field or a pitch or a track, a track if it's for running, a pitch if it's for football, for example. The commentators are the people who are talking about this event. Maybe you're watching this event on television and you hear the the presenters, the commentators speaking. You can talk about the contest, the score, the winner. There's lots of specific vocabulary for every type of sport. Finally, for the music event, the concert, you might be describing a band, a group, an orchestra, the lighting, the sound, the stage, the crowd, the audience, the instruments, the voice, a song, or a piece of music. There's lots of specific vocabulary for concerts or musical events as well. And then remember the final step in preparation that we've used in every one of these lessons is to think of examples or stories to demonstrate each theme. These examples will really depend on your festival or party or celebration, but here are some examples uh, to give you an idea of what you could prepare. If I say my sister's wedding was special, let's explain why with an example. I enjoyed the occasion because it was great to see my sister so happy on her big day. Another example, if I say the concert was spectacular. Let's explain that with an example. Suddenly the venue lit up and the crowd cheered as the musicians came onto the stage. So we're describing the beginning of the concert there and why it's spectacular with a, an example. A couple more tips to finish. First, search on the internet for ideas about the particular events that you would choose. For this topic, you really need to choose your own events and it's best if they are real, if you're telling the truth, it's easier. So you need to search on the internet for your particular festival, uh, wedding, concert or sporting event to get a few more ideas. Of course, you can use mine as well. Use my theme vocabulary, but add your own themes and vocabulary. And finally, describe what happens step by step from the beginning to the end of the event. For this topic, it's really useful to have a story that goes in order from the beginning to the end because events happen in that way, of course. You can describe step by step what happened and it should be very easy for you to fill the two minutes with that kind of description. When you've prepared some good vocabulary, your themes and your examples, you're ready to practice. And as I always say, you should record yourself because then you can write down what you said, you can analyse it and you can try to improve your description. Make sure you're using as much good vocabulary as possible. 
And that brings us to our example questions for this lesson. I'm not going to do example questions about the festival and wedding because I've done those on my blog already and so I'm going to attach those on the worksheet next to this video. Instead of that we're going to focus on what I haven't done before on my free website on my blog. I haven't done the sports and music events before so I'm going to give you an example of each of those in the rest of this lesson. First the sports event. Here's the question. Describe a sports event that you enjoyed watching. You should say what event you watched, where you were, who you watched it with, and explain why you enjoyed watching it. Okay, I'm going to start the two minutes now. I'm going to describe what I think was the most memorable event in recent years that I remember, which was the London 2012 Olympic Games. This was a spectacular festival of sport over the course of several re weeks here in, uh, in England and I think it was a once in a lifetime experience for us to have the Olympic Games in our own country. Um, I was unfortunately at home watching most of the Olympics on television. I didn't manage to go down to London to see any of the events in person but I enjoyed them all on TV at, at home in my in my own house or sometimes with friends or family at their houses. And um, I do remember the events themselves though were in all different places across uh, London, mainly at the Olympic Park area in the main stadium or the various other smaller stadiums for the different events like the swimming, the basketball, etc. And I watched various of these different events when they were on television. As I said, I, w I was watching uh, at home, usually on, on my own or with family or occasionally with friends. I remember, for example, watching uh, the 100 meters sprint race, which is probably considered to be the, the most important or the most famous event in the Olympic Games. We often call it the, the blue ribboned event. And there was a lot of hype and anticipation surrounding the 100 meters at the London Olympics because everyone wanted to see whether Usain um, Bolt would win again or whether anyone would be able to beat him. So I enjoyed this event, the London Olympic Games, because I think it was an unforgettable experience to see it in my own country. There were some great performances and victories by the athletes and I enjoyed every minute. That was the end of the two minutes. You can see how I did by downloading the worksheet and looking at the script there. Now I'll move on to the second example question and it's about the music topic, the music event. Here's the question. Describe a concert or musical event in your country. You should say who the musicians are, where the concert is held, what type of music is played, and explain why people attend this musical event. I'll start the two minutes now. I'm going to describe a concert that I've actually been to that takes place here in Manchester where I live. The musicians who perform this concert are classical musicians. It's an orchestra called the Halle Orchestra, which is obviously made up of the conductor, the string instruments like violins, the percussion, the woodwind instruments, the brass instruments, etc. And these musicians play in a concert hall, a venue called the Bridgewater Hall here in Manchester, which is a purpose-built concert hall, um, by which I mean that it was designed specifically for music. The sound acoustics are really good in the, in the concert room and um, the lighting, the stage, etc. Was all, they were all built specifically for music. And the type of music that you would expect from um, an or orchestra would normally be classical music. But this particular concert that I think they put on once a year is a bit more popular or mainstream because the orchestra plays theme music from famous films, the soundtracks from films. And most of them are very popular, well-known Hollywood films like E.T., Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, the James Bond films, that kind of thing. 
And this is why people attend, because we all know, or most of us know, the music from those, th uh, from those films. And it's amazing to hear uh, a full orchestra playing these these uh, songs, these pieces of music in a live venue. Um, the, um, the sound quality is fantastic and to hear these pieces of music loud and live is really wonderful. I, for example, was particularly blown away by the E.T. soundtrack, which is a really, really emotional piece of music when you hear it, especially uh, in a live venue like that. I've stopped it there because that was two minutes. You can download the attached worksheet and see the script for that description as well. And you can analyze how good it was in terms of how much of the vocabulary I used. My focus is always on trying to use as many of the good words and phrases that I prepared as possible. In the next lesson, we'll do something similar for the topic describe an activity.